Far from anywhere, a hidden archipelago. These isolated islands have been strictly off-limits for half a century. But today, rare access and a remarkable homecoming. These Chagos Islanders were forced to leave by Britain in the early 1970s. As their feet touch home sand, the emotions surge. Lisby Elise was just 21 and pregnant when the British killed her dog and ordered her to leave. I'm happy to be allowed home, she says, but sad that I can't stay. This is a short visit and there is work to be done. It feels to me like somebody who comes home after a long break and wants to tidy up. Is that how you feel? Of course, uh, you know, it's, uh, as I said, it's uh, not a better place than where you were born, where you were live. And now the group heads inland. The empty decades have turned their thriving village into a lost world. In the ruins of the old church, the mood turns to anger. I very angry of the behavior of UK government, who did not respect the fundamental rights of the people. Do you feel you've been denied your life here? Yeah, of course. Britain still claims sovereignty over all these ruins, citing security concerns about a nearby American military base. But international law now says Britain must let the islanders return permanently and must not cling on to a piece of its old empire. The International Court of Justice has ruled they have a right to come back, and the failure to allow them to come back is a continuing wrong. Actually, I think uh, not allowing people to return to their homes is recognised as a crime against humanity, and it needs to be sorted out. And so officials from Mauritius now prepare their flagpole, boldly staking claim to the Chagos archipelago. We are asking Britain to uh, uh, wake up to the reality of the situation, that um, their position is untenable. It is extraordinary to think that these exquisite islands have been cut off from the outside world for half a century. But this visit by the Mauritian government has challenged and maybe changed that. It is very difficult now to imagine Britain clinging on to its hidden archipelago for that much longer. As for the islanders, they plan to come back here soon, and perhaps for good. Andrew Harding, BBC News, on the Chagos Islands.